in second part we will discuss about the economic and the social council which consists of 54 members and this member are elected by the general assembly one third of this member retire every year and the new members are elected by the general assembly the main function of this council is to promote economic and social cooperation among the member states of the un Next we will talk about the trusteeship council it was working before the second world war when second world war finished some territories were governed by the trusteeship council but now almost all the territories got independence so that is why this trusteeship council meets very rarely Next we will talk about the International Court of Justice that is clear from the name the main function of International Court of Justice is to solve international disputes. It is a principal organ of the United Nation located at Hague, Netherlands. Is it contain 15 judges from the different countries representing a various system of law. The judges of secure International Court of Justice are elected by the General Assembly and the Security Council for the term of nine years. No two judges can be from the same country. The country and the court elect its own president after every three years and the main function of this court is to settle disputes between the two member states of United States. So now we will talk about the Secretariat. The Secretariat is the in charge of all administrative work. Its headquarters is in New York. The Secretary General is the Chief Executive Officer of the UN elected by the UN members for the term of five years. The personnel of the Secretary are recruited from all over the world. Attempts are made to have a balanced representation from all region and the countries. The Secretary General holds a key position in administration of the affairs of the UN. He organizes conferences, draft reports, make correspondence, register treaties, prepare budget estimates. So my dear students, General Assembly, we had talk. Now we will talk about some agencies of the UN. Besides the six principal organs of the UN, it has certain agencies which work in the field of health, education, science, trade, culture, labor, labor force and human rights. So first we will talk about the UNESCO. UNESCO came in existence on 4th November 1946. The main function of UNESCO is to educate millions of people, young and old, and to spread scientific knowledge. It provides experts in the various field of education to the member states in order to solve their problem in this field. So it is a organization which also arrange teachers exchange program under which teachers learn new ideas and techniques to handle their teaching effectively. So next organization which work for the children is UNICEF. It was established in 1946 after the Second World War. Its main function is to arrange a nutritious diet for the young generation of the world and to provide medical aid and benefits to the children especially in underdeveloped and developing countries of the world. So after that we will talk about the World Health Organization which was established in 1948 with headquarters in Geneva. The main purpose of this organization is to promote health in the entire world. It also eradicates many problems and many diseases like cholera, typhoid, malaria, smallpox and recently AIDS. A number of WHO doctors and nurses have trained 
our medical personnel and awarded scholarship to students to go abroad and study advanced medical technology the next organization which work for the labor is international labor organization ilo it was established in 1919 but revived again in 1946 after the second world war its headquarters at geneva its main function is to improve social and economic condition of the laborer and workers by improving their living standards stopping the exploitation of women and children and settling the disputes between entrepreneurs and laborers it also promote peace through social justice the next very organization is food and agricultural organization formed on 16th october 1945 headquarter is at rome in italy and its main function is to develop agriculture and thus increase agricultural production its motto is freedom from hunger it also help to increase agricultural produce by giving financial aids by providing latest machine and better seeds and by lending the service of specialist agencies and the last agency we will talk about international monetary fund every country of has its own currency which cannot be used in international transaction for that purpose an international exchange currency is required in international trade four currencies have been recognized as reliable exchange that is currency of britain russia usa and some of the european countries so this imf help in exchanging the currencies it undertake the buying and selling of the gold in the international market it also help the member states in the event of monetary difficulty through the world bank its headquarters at washington so now we will talk about some achievements of the un first it helped the country which were under foreign rule to become independent UN strongly opposed the policy of apartheid in South Africa by imposing sanctions. It make efforts to prevent human rights violation. The UN has helped bringing peace to the countries engaged in conflict, for example, Gulf War. It promote the use of nuclear energy for peaceful purposes and work for disarmament. so my dear students with this your chapter is over and your homework is to read the chapter thoroughly and find the exercises and mark that exercises on the book